Foundation Cornerstone, Chapter 3, Praise and Worship. Let's look a little bit now of what praise and worship is. If we look at the definition of praise as used in merriamwebster.com, as a verb, praise is to express thanks or, or love for respecting God. If we look to merriamwebster.com, praise as a noun, we're going to find out that it is an expression of thanks or love and respect to God. Let's look at Romans chapter 15 and verse number 11. Romans 15, verse 11. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. And now let's look at a definition of the word worship, as used in Matthew chapter 4, verse number 10. Greek lexicon number 4352. Worship. Well, it means to kiss like a dog would lick his master's hand, to fawn, to prostrate oneself in homage, in the adoration and reverence. It's the worship. Worship at merriamwebster.com as a noun means to act of showing respect and love. And it's with other people who have the same belief, the same God. And then if we look at worship as a verb in merriamwebster.com, means to honor, reverence as a divine being or supernatural power. And it means it's a respect, it's an honor, devotion. Let's look at Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4, verses 8 through 10. Again, the devil taketh him up to an exceeding high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world, and the glory of them. And saith he unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Commonly today, worship is considered to be the singing and praise portion of a church service. And I'd have to say worship is that, but much more. God is seeking worshipers that will reverence and praise Him while living and walking in His Word and Holy Spirit. So it's not just the time you come together in the church worship service. Let's turn to the Gospel of John, chapter 4. John chapter 4, verse 23 and 24. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship Him. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. When a person's life is holy and acceptable to God, their prayers, praise, and worship are all shared in the presence of God's Holy Spirit. Praise and worship should be woven throughout all that Christians do, whether at a meeting place, at home, on the job, everywhere else. Let's look at Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So God receives the sincere praises of all those that worship Him, whether alone or in a group. That is praise and worship. 